Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In my previous video, I was explaining our chat GPT plugin, which is called Recipient Assistant, and I was showing how it works and how you can um, upload new receipts and how you could uh, extract data through, from those receipts and display um, some visualization charts based on the output, uh, numeric output from the plugin and so on. In this video, I'll do um, one more time, I'll talk about uh, Receipt Assistant slightly from a different perspective, from a user perspective. <clears throat> I'll show how you could uh, leverage uh, Receipt Assistant functionality in combination uh, with ChatGPT functionality, which would help you to uh, process the data that you uh, are storing with the Receipt Assistant, uh, Receipt Assistant, sorry, and uh, how you could get some insights from the data. So I'll uh, what I'll do, <clears throat> I'll show you a couple of prompts inside ChatGPT, and those prompts are uh, invoking in turn uh, receipt assistant, getting the data and uh, producing the results. So first, let's uh, take uh, the first prompt, and I paste it here just to save time, uh, not to type it uh, uh, yeah, just for for the time saving purpose. And the prompt would be, it says that uh, Hi, for let's fetch uh, stored receipt IDs and receipt data for year 2023 because some of the receipts are older ones. And <clears throat> in this example, uh, we are telling ChatGPT to filter data. So this is the first task. And ChatGPT is uh, able out of the box to filter data. So there's no any backend logic implemented which would uh, explicitly take the uh, query and filter the data. No, all the filtering and data processing is done out of the box but by ChatGPT, and this is very important because the backend just returns raw data and ChatGPT does all the processing. So we don't uh, need to implement on the backend any other uh, rules uh, like uh, queries and so on. Okay, so the second task is display text table and we want to see ID, store name, then number of items purchased per receipt and again uh, on the backend uh, or in the database there is no uh, explicitly information about uh, number of items. What we have is just a list of items but there is no number of items calculated uh, out of the list. So this calculation, if there are four items then it's uh, number four, if it's five, five items, number five. So this grouping and calculation is also done by ChatGPT when processing the data. Then we want to display total and receive date. Okay, so let's let's do that and now we send the task to ChatGPT and now ChatGPT should understand that it needs to call a Receipt Assistant plugin to fetch information about the uh, IDs uh, in the first call and in the second call it gets uh, information, uh, actual data from the receipts. Okay, so it starts to print, print, to print out. Okay, this is the first one. Okay, then we got the second one, third one, number four. Five, six, and I think there should be seven, so that's the last one. Okay, so seven receipts. And it says that uh, in the resulting data set, there were some receipts from uh, another year, and ChatGPT automatically filtered uh, the data. And this is what I said that in the backend, we don't implement any logic uh, like filtering or uh, we don't do any separate query. All this uh, filtering is done in ChatGPT. Okay, and now let's say we would like to order, uh, reorder the table based on the receipt date. So let's give this uh, prompt over here and let's send this task to ChatGPT, and we ask to reorder the table based on dates starting from the oldest. And we get the answer that uh, reordering is done and results are being printed. And we will be able to compare the results as soon as they are done. So we got seven rows as expected, and we can see the dates are correctly ordered now. And now if I double check, for example, for this one, uh, there was uh, ID starting with N44, and we can see that the reordering was done correctly. ID is, uh, the same ID is assigned for the store name as expected. 
Okay, now let's say that we would like to display the actual content for uh, for this receipt here. So what we can do is uh, we can say that I would like to display content for this specific receipt, and uh, <coughs> because all the content is already fetched, so ChatGPT is smart; it's not doing extra call to the <coughs> receipt uh, assistant backend; it's just using uh, data from which is already cached. Okay, so we got. Uh, information from the receipt and now it's printing out uh, receipt items and the thing is that this specific receipt is uh, uh, in Lithuanian language so all the items uh, should be in Lithuanian language but when uh, receipt was uploaded uh, OCR system doesn't understand Lithuanian letters and it just uh, uploaded uh, some uh, it's a part of the text, you, you can understand it uh, if you're Lithuanian, but uh, all the letters, there are no uh, Lithuanian specific letters, uh, all of them just uh, standard English letters. And we could try to ask ChatGPT to fix this, and uh, because ChatGPTs understand different languages, and we can say that uh, uh, this thing, uh, that items for the receipt are written in Lithuanian, but there are many s spelling mistakes. And uh, can you help this? Can you help us to fix this? Okay, so this uh, this is what we get, and now uh, correct Lithuanian letters are included, and correct grammar is being used for this specific receipt. So my point is here is that. Uh, we can even uh, fix or translate uh, received content um, using the chat GPT. Okay, and now we can say, okay, let's save this uh, data uh, for this receipt. Okay, now let's see what chat GPT will do. It will execute the uh, endpoint which is responsible to update uh, existing receipt data and it constructs the uh, JSON payload here which will be sent to the backend and we can see correct Lithuanian letters are being used for the items as uh, expected so the point is here is that <clears throat> for ChatGPT you don't need explicitly every time to explain what you want to achieve. Um, ChatGPT is looking into the context, uh, into the previous step, and it understands now that uh, we we fix the grammar for received items, and uh, we got uh, received data as well in the previous step. And now we want to save not just those fixed items, but we want to uh, update the received information as uh, as all, as, as a whole, and say that correct data for this receipt has been successfully saved. And if you want any further assistance, please let me know. Okay, so we're done with that. And uh, to summarize, uh, what we can do is uh, that we can execute another. another uh, prompt where we could say that okay we are done with this data editing now we want to visually see the <coughs> uh, uh, costs like the totals uh, amount spent per receipt and also this would be one chart and in another in another chart we would like to see a number of items per each receipt and we, uh, we don't need to refresh data because as I mentioned uh, before ChatGPT uh, un understands the context and now uh, it's using the data that was previously fetched, like like in this table above. So we'll use number of items for one chart and, and total for another chart and uh, store names. And now it's using uh, chart uh, vice charts plugin, which helps to uh, basically render a chart out of the numeric data. And this is a separate plugin. It's unrelated to. Uh, receipt assistant, but uh, I'm just showing you how different plugins from ChatGPT they work in a combination. So we get numeric data from uh, receipt assistant, and we feed this numeric data to Wise Charts plugin, and we should render charts. And we got the response. So this is the first chart, and this is the 
totals over here spent uh, total amounts per each receipt and here number of items so uh, we can uh, also click here view chart so we got uh, totals so this one uh, 38.55 dollar pizza and we can check double check here okay let's see what uh, this one doesn't seem to be correct let's see what was the payload for white charts okay this should be 2680 mm, okay this one uh, okay let's check this one uh, 856 this one is correct anyway maybe there was some error in the white charts uh, in any case let's see the second one so we got nine items over here for these two and this is correct for this one and this one we got nine items yeah so this is just for you to get the understanding how it works and yeah you could use uh, in chat gpt combination of different plugins like uh, visualization in this case and in general what i would think uh, uh, receipt assistance is useful uh, because it demonstrates how you could it provides the option basically to upload the uh, receipt it demonstrates how you could in the back end extract text data from the receipt and then uh, it returns the array of text data to chat gpt and chat gpt is able to uh, map uh, keys and values out of the box so this shows how a l uh, large language models can process the arrays of data and create create relationships between this data and moreover uh, it shows how you could work on top of this data and uh, execute queries like you do filtering or grouping of the data and uh, calculating totals comparing data or getting some additional insights from the data like uh, getting additional information about items purchased and so on so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye